Good morning, everybody. My name is Kimberly Wright. Welcome to Word Up, the class all about poetry, spoken words, and short stories. Today is uh, June the 9th, 2021. Today is Wednesday. Um, last week, we covered about 15 types of short poetic forms. And today we're gonna see what you all uh, worked on as it pertains to these uh, styles of poetry. Today, speaking of events and holidays, today is uh, National Donald Duck Day. And uh, let's see. And International Dark and Stormy Day. International Dark and Stormy Day deals with uh, food and beverage. All right. So let me get my bearings on my lesson. I hope you all had fun. Uh, trying to figure out how to write these pieces. And I think today what we'll do is switch around as it pertains to a form. We're gonna go ahead and switch forms. All right, so last week, uh, I know we gave the respeto to Miss Vicki B. Myers. Miss Sharon Hartnett had the Sin Cane. Miss Betty Coleman had the Haiku. Myself, Kimberly Wright, I have the Nonette. Jean Blackshear Harris had the Sonnet. Miss Jacqueline Lattimore had the Villanelle. And that's all I see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So don't, you know, don't uh, feel any kind of way if you did not get a chance to finish your piece. Uh, it's no problem. You can continue to work on it for another time. And we, we, we still will switch styles today, uh, rotate them around. And if you only have a portion of your piece that you want to share today, um, that'll be just fine. So if you have any questions due to the fact that you could not uh, navigate your piece properly, uh, feel free to ask any questions. And um, we will definitely, uh, we will definitely get those questions and everything uh, answered for you. So right now we have about 10 participants. I just want to see if we have anybody this morning that we will give a, a piece to No, So a couple of people called me to say that they would not be uh, in class today, which is just fine. All right. So while I'm giving you all a chance to get your pieces together, I will go ahead and recite uh, the piece that I had. And so once again, somebody may get this uh, style of writing today. So just keep your eyes and your heart open as it pertains to when we are uh, describing everybody's styles in case you get it next. All right, so I had number eight, which was the Nonette poem. The Nonette is an awesome nine line poem whose syllables trickle down in descending order until they are done. The first line has nine syllables. The second line has eight syllables. The third line has seven syllables and it continues to descend until you get to the last line, which has one. So I went on ahead and wrote 
two pieces that I'm going to continue to revise because I know I can make them better. However, uh, I think the first piece I'm trying to um, I'm trying to get uh, a title for it. I think uh, I'm going to have it. I'm gonna. I'm go going to. Uh, sorry, I'm going to title it Slam, and I might change that a little bit later because I'm still not feeling that title all the way. So once again, my piece has nine lines, and each line has nine syllables going down to the first line, so I'll recite slow, slowly. Word up is all, word up is all about poetry. Yes, spoken, spoken word and short stories. Clear words echo from the mic, shaking off nerves, stage fright. Lyrics on paper, repetition, rhythm, rhyme, epic lines. All right, so just reading that again. Word up is all about poetry. Yes, spoken word and short stories. Clear words echo from the mic, shaking off nerves, stage fright. Lyrics on paper, repetition. Rhythm, rhyme, epic lines. All right, so that's my first piece. And the second piece I wrote, so I wrote two poems to the, for the style, un, under the style of uh, Nonette, which is nine lines. All right, my next piece is titled Nine Lines. It's gonna be nine lines as it pertains to lines. And it's like a nine line, what I guess if you, uh, like we say, um, a man tries to have a pickup line. So they are lines as well, like phrases. All right, nine lines by Kimberly Wright. Possession is nine tenths of the law. You have to go the whole nine yards. Some of us work nine to five. A stitch in time saves nine. Be dressed to the nines. Cat has nine lives. On cloud nine, 69. All right, so that was my uh, second piece called Nine Lines. And um, I hope you all enjoyed those two pieces. And I'm ready to kill my spotlight and put one of you on stage. Anybody want to share their pieces, Miss Vicky? I'll go. I'll go first. <laughs> it takes right. a minute. only because my uh, poem is the second one that you told us about, and you gave it to the, us in that order. So you're doing your respeto. I have the respeto. Okay, give me one second. Sorry, one second. So I want to, uh, before you all start, I want to uh, jog everybody's memory back to Rispetto is a short poetic form of Italian origin comprising of 11 syllables per line. It has eight lines. And Rispetto uses the ABAB CCDD rhyme scheme is right up here. And you can apply other variations of the rhyme scheme if you like. So it should have eight lines with 11 syllables for each line. Go for it, Ms. Vicky. The way I set it up was I, I drew a little diagram. And the rhyme I wrote down was A, B, A, B, C, C, B, B. Then I wrote down the number of lines, one, two, three, going down all the way to eight. Then I wrote over the number of syllables, 11, all the way over the top. 
so I could make sure I stay within the parameters of the poem. And I hope you like my poem. You, you gave me a theme of love. And um, my poem is titled, Our Heartache Retreats. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. It's called Our, Heart, Our, Our Heartache Retreats. And I read it over and over to my husband so I could make sure it made sense, okay? I, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, when I look into your gorgeous golden eyes, my heart skips a hippity hoppity beat. The world beneath my feet feet floats, zigzags, and flies. The universe commands that our lips must meet. But we will never know what love holds in store. One moment we kiss, the next moment we outpour. I detest and hate you is our angry tweet. Then love begs forgiveness, our heartache retreats. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that is so beautiful. Can you tell me the title again? It's called Our Heartaches Retreats. Our, is it our heart? Yeah, our heartache retreats. Oh, you are our heartache retreats. Right. Okay, that was very beautiful. Yeah. I was trying to count those syllables, although I think they all pretty much panned out. I, think well, I wrote down good. every number above every word to make sure I had the correct number of syllables. Uh, and because in the first line, when I look into your gorgeous uh, golden eyes, at first I had when I look into your beautiful golden eyes and my husband said, wait a minute, that's 12, not enough. <laughs> <I had> to... <laughs> that's really, really good, Miss Vicky. And I love your I love your choice of words. It's very, very eloquent. Well, it's love. It's about love. Yeah, that's very, very nice. Thank you. Getting you. some finger snaps. So you get it some uh I see Miss Jane. <laughs> And I see everybody, so <laughs> thank you. All right, good job. So do we have a haiku from Miss Betty? Kim, I'm still working on that. No problem, no problem. It's, it's no problem. It's not completely ready. <laughs> it's no problem. So I said to you all, don't feel no pressure. If you still are working on your piece, you can still recite it next week. Yeah. It doesn't matter. All right, Miss Jean, are you ready okay. to sign it? Miss Jean. Yes. You ready with your sonnet? I am half ready. May I share with the group what I've been doing? I tried to write, look, look, look at the pages. Look. Well, I can't, we can't see the pages. Y'all can't see the pages. All right. But That's anyway, okay. I know that a sonnet is three quatrains and a couplet. Well, I wrote my quatrains, but they didn't, they didn't flow, but I had no problems writing the couplet. So what I did is not a limerick, but I wrote their assignment and then I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this with the rest of the group. Write a sonnet if you can. Respond to Shakespeare, his masterpiece. Writing a sonnet is quite a, a demand, easy to say, but hard to plan. So I was just writing that as a response to what you did. But I had no problems writing um, the core trains, but the, they, didn't, they didn't mix. So I don't know, maybe if you let me write about something other than Shakespeare, I did have, I had fun writing the couplets, 
But Thank remember you. I said you can write about the prompt that I gave you and I said if you wanted to write an original piece, go for it. That's what I'm going to do. But I did write my sonnet. I mean, I did have fun writing the couplets. Yes, ma'am. Because they, they were fun. So let me, may I just share a couple with you guys? Of course. Okay. Uh, if I can find it real fast. Um, this was such a good challenge though, to try to, to respond to Shakespeare's uh, poetry. It was, but it was hard. But here are my couplets that I wrote and I thought they were fun if you guys listened to me, will you indulge me a second? Um, As we age, the mirror can be a foe. Oh, all right. As we age, can, the mirror can be a foe or friend. It simply matters what's within. <laughs> so I had fun writing that. But I, I promise you, I'll have a good sonnet next time based on something that's close to me. And I love uh, what Vicki wrote. Maybe I'll write to my husband who's gone on to another level. <laughs> so, so I'll write to him from the great beyond. I'm gonna say, dear darling, this is a long distance call. But anyway, I might, write, I might write to him, but thank you for indulging me in this. Thank you for the challenge. I, no I need problem. to- Thank you so much. That was really good. That was really good, Miss Jimmy. Okay, Miss uh, Miss Sharon Hartnett had a sin pain. I was wondering, were you ready this week? If not, it's okay. Well, we can try it out. How about that? Of course we can. Go for it. Okay, the title of mine is graduate. Is what? You know, since people are graduating, graduates. Oh, graduates. Yes, ma'am. Dream. Have ambition, desire, you can make it happen. Then I put goals. Is that it? Should I do it again? Yes, ma'am. Uh, drink, okay. The name of it is Graduate. Dream, have ambition, desire, you can make it happen. Then I put goals was my ending. Goals. You have to have a goal. You just got to have a dream and have a goal, okay? At the end, did you say goal? Goal. Yes, ma'am. I got it. Is it okay? Or no, that's I... really good. But it is, you know, you like, even though I think everybody heard you, uh, you just got to like a little background noise. It's okay. But we can still hear it. Did everybody hear that? Yes. It was called Graduates. Really good to share hard at. So that was a sin cane with the five lines. And it's supposed to have one word, two words, three words, four words, then back to one. So that was a good job. All right. Miss Jacqueline, were you able to tackle that villanelle? You have to unmute yourself. If you're not ready, it's no problem. No, I'm not ready. I have two more lines to write and I don't know what to write, so. It's okay, did you wanna share what you wrote or you wanna share it next time? I'll share it after the last person speaks. Okay, and I love that beautiful painting behind you. Is it yours with the lady with the earring? Well, thank you. Is that your painting? Yeah. I, I did it. it. Did it for another class. I'm doing it for another class. You want to see it? Yes. I love it. It looks really beautiful. I did it. I'm doing it for Nicole's class. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it looks nice. That's beautiful. Thank you. All right. So there are a few people like Miss Betty, Miss. Jean and Miss Jacqueline, I would like for you all to continue on the pieces that you have this week. However, um, I want to go ahead and give a uh, project, uh, sorry, a style. Let everybody choose a new style that we're going to go on to. Um, so, 
I'm going to be writing down your styles for today. Anybody know a style that they want to do? Raise your hand. Or you want me to give out the style? Yes, yes. Give us our punishment. Give us our punishment. <laughs> you want a cross stick, Miss Vicky? Yes, I do. All right, let me put Vicky B. Myers. This is for next week, young people. Across. Okay. All right. If you want to choose, go ahead and raise your hand. If not, I'm going to give out the. And don't forget to write them down, young people. Anybody uh, have a hand up? I had fun doing the respeto, so I'll do another respeto. I had started okay. one, but I'm going to do it. That's that great. One. Good job. Miss uh, Jean, what do you want to do? What is Sin K. Sin K. Sin K. Let me see. Jean. B. Harris. Sin K. Anybody else want to choose their own genre? Hey, Auntie. <laughs> Anybody else want to choose their genre or you want me to appoint it to you? Uncle Rabbit. Uncle Rabbit. Hey. <laughs> I'm doing a high 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 coup. All right, I have Miss uh, Jacqueline. Her, uh, sorry, Jacqueline Lattimore. She's gonna do a high coup. I'm gonna go ahead and choose my Kimberly Wright. I am going to choose a triolet. Anybody else? Don't be scared. So I'm waiting on Miss Betty and Miss Sharon Hartnett. You can give me uh, see what I can do. Sharon, you want to, I wanted you to choose another, a different um, style of the poem. You want me to choose one for you? Yes, I think you'll make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what I'm choosing for you is the tank up, and I'll give you the instructions on that. What about you, Miss Betty? You want me to choose one for you? That's fine. All right. Sharon Hartnett. And Betty Coleman. Uh, Miss Betty, you are going to get the Nanette. That's the one I did today. All right. Anybody else have any pieces they want to share right now? I'm, I'm ready. I did my last line. All right. Let me give you the spotlight. Miss Sharon Hartnett. Yeah. Please mute yourself. Give me a poem. Go ahead, Miss Jacqueline. Okay, I'm doing a, a Villanelle. Is that how you pronounce it? Villanelle, yes, ma'am. Villanelle. Our love. So new at love, my heart burst. Went on a trip to Ghana, blind in love my heart thirst. Perfect trip. Be aimed to please. Oh, he aimed to please. Open heart. Our love grew and our mission overseas. Uh, let me read that again. Perfect trip. He aimed to please. Open heart. Our love grew 
and on our mission overseas. Bright with a beauty that is not our own, like brew tea so sweet, these two lovers are as children shown. Placed our feet in each other's shoes, gave up our time with ease, our hearts fluttered, we knew we wouldn't lose. And the words, at my old objections, oh no, and the wonder at my old objections, our heads in the clouds, our heart now had direction. Remember this before time is flown. Remember this before time is flown in our happiness so unaware. We didn't hesitate to share like a queen and king in our own, on our own throne. The first line had to re rhyme with the last one. And each of the stanzas has three lines and the fourth standards had four lines. Yes, ma'am. So what was the title of that again? What was our love? Our love has grown. Okay. So was that was that piece traveling? Like was it having different aspects of the people's love? Yeah. Yes, a trip. They took a trip together. That's what I I got a, I got in my mind some kind of vacation. Yeah. Going. And their love grew on this trip. That's good. So uh, if you continue to revise that particular piece and tighten it up a little bit, make sure to read that to us again. Okay. Yes, ma'am. May I say I what respond what I responded to? Yes, ma'am. As you were reading it, I felt like it was a never-ending journey. Oh. <laughs> oh, I said, oh, I want to go on that trip. I want to go on that trip. It was, it was soft. It was sweet. Mm -hmm. it, you could feel it. You do really love it. And I said, I want to go on that trip. I like I heard, really, like I heard something sexual going on in there too. I know. I love it. That's why I said I want to go on that trip. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tripped in so long. Whoops, I didn't say that. All right, you so silly, Miss Jean. You said it. <laughs> yeah, he aimed to please as we went overseas. A girl, hey, that's that's what I know. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> he aimed to please as they went overseas, and the waves were rolling. Uh -oh. Y'all being bad. All right. Oh, they were being good. Hey, hey, Kim, they were being good, not bad. That was good. All right, so I want to quickly write a Sin Kane, and the title of it is going to be called. So I want you all to finish writing it. This Sin Kane is called Rabbit. Give me two adjectives that describe Rabbit for the next two, the next line. Multiplication. <laughs> I said two words. You know, the next line is supposed to have two words. Oh, okay. Adjectives that describe rabbit. White and fluffy. White. Fluffy. All right, the third line is supposed to be three action words, possibly or maybe ended in the word I-N-G that describe rabbit. Always humping, jumping. Humping. <laughs> humping. 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 Jumping. Hopping. Jumping. Oh, humping. Miss <laughs> <Hi>, Jean. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Jean off the chain. Oh, she, she, 
Look, she put me in a special mood. She got me in a mood. Miss Jacqueline Pond that got her into a jumping, Ooh, jumping. I got hot. It's too hot. <laughs> she too much. She done got hot. All right, say that. that, the say that what was your question again? You the, said two, two words, right? I said we were writing a sin cane, yeah. and it, it's based on the word rabbit. So the no. second, the second line was white and fluffy. The third line is humping, hopping, jumping. What is the fourth line? The fourth line needs to have a four letter, a four word phrase, or four words that describe rabbit. What is it going to be, young people? Multiplying, satisfying, no denying. <laughs> Multiplying. That's just three words. No, it? no. Multiplying, satisfying, no denying. Oh, that is right. denying. That's good. No <laughs> denying. Right. See, you got to start it on this hump and One, stuff. two, three, four, five. <laughs> and then we need a we need a synonym, a word that is similar to rabbit. That is one word. Habits, rabbit. Oh, it has to be a synonym. Synonym. A word that's similar to rabbit. Like I don't want to use this word, but it has to be something like bunny. Rabbit is like a bunny. So give me a synonym for rabbit. Babies. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ought to be. I ain't gonna say y'all oh. shame yourself. Y'all, y'all uh. <laughs> Now wide awake today. Woohoo! <laughs> um, okay. uh, how about say, hair? How about hair? Hairs or babies or hairs? Do y'all like babies or hairs? How about bunny? How about bunnies? You don't want to use bunny. Yeah. We don't have bunny up there, do we? I was saying I didn't want to use bunnies, but we'll use bunnies. What well, bunnies? Man, but what about bunnies? Bunny. I got it. All right, so this sin cane we just wrote is rabbit, white, fluffy, humping, hopping, jumping, multiplying, satisfying, no denying, bunnies. That's good. <laughs> good job, y'all. All right, so some of these pieces that we all write together, I'm going to have to put uh, uh, like uh, the piece is called rat hair. And then I'll put uh, the class wrote it. Like, so we'll have the class wrote it down. All right. So Miss Sally Dawson, we were doing 15 types of short poetic forms. And so far, everybody has picked one of the pieces. Do you want to choose one of your own or you want me to appoint you one for next week? Uh, appoint me one for next week. All right. So your piece that you're going to do is going to be, let me put Sally Dawson. Anybody else have any pieces, anything they want to share? Poems. Sally Dawson, Sally Dawson you're going to do a NAMI. So if you uh -huh. have a pen and paper, a NAMI uh -huh. is, if you have a pen and paper, I'm going to put it in the chat, dear love. Yeah, I got pen and paper. Okay, it's all right. I'm putting it in the chat. A nanny? What the heck is a nanny? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say no cussing in class. I said heck. I said heck. You used the F kidding. word. <laughs> I said heck. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. So, Miss Sally Dawson, I just typed your piece in the chat. And also, Miss Sharon Hardnett, do you need me to type yours in the chat? I've never. Uh, yes, Sharon, I it for you. Your piece is a tank up. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I look it up. I look it up. Does everybody have what they are writing for next week? Yes. Anybody need me to type it in the chat? All right, so I can give you your instructions quickly. Uh, Miss Vicky, you know what an acrostic is? Uh, go over it again. Everybody may not know. What? 
Yeah, each line, each line has to us may not remember. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, it's okay, no problem. Some people may not remember. However, I will say quickly what it is. No problem. Uh oh. What's wrong? What is? All right. So. You have acrostic, which is the first one. Ms. Sharon Hartnett, please uh, mute yourself, love, sorry. An acrostic poem has several variations, but the main idea is that one or two letters of every line combined spell out a word. The first letters of each line spell out a word if read vertically downwards. So that's like having the word uh, ice cream. Uh, going down, ice cream. So we're just gonna write a quick acrostic. Uh, Miss, Miss uh, Dewanda, if you can unmute yourself, can you give me a word that has, that starts with the letter I that has to do with ice cream? Or a phrase? Ice. Ice. Somebody give me a C. Some sentence or phrase starting with, I'm going to do C. Creamy, creamy. Creamy. For E, I'm going to put. Uh, energizing. Ice cream is energizing. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> energizing. For C, I'm going to put uh, cookies and cream. Maybe I, I'll change that since we already got cream. I'm going to put chocolate chip. Right. I wanted to change that just because we already had cream. All right, give me an R phrase or R that has to deal with ice cream. Really Rip. delicious. What'd you say? Really Rip. delicious. Oh. Sorry, it's Real okay, Ms. What did you say, Auntie? I say rich. Rich yeah. in uh, flavor. Okay, rich. that's our rich and delicious. Right. Woo! All right, we're back on E. Give me another E. E Every, every everybody's favorite. That's good. Everybody's favorite. And what about an A? Always oh. delicious. We already had rich and delicious. That's redundant. Amazing. I'm a good. Amazing. Apple cherry. <laughs> Apple cherry. <laughs> Apple. Apple. <laughs> How about apple pie? Okay. <laughs> They might have an apple pie ice cream. And then what about M? Move out of my way. <laughs> Move out of your way. Yeah. Why? Because you because you don't want to drip ice cream on them. No, because I want it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Make, oh, make me a bowl. Make me a bowl. All right, that's cute. Make me a bowl. Yeah. Right. So that's essentially an acrostic poem it's ice cream going down and then you write your poem going out from each letter it says ice creamy energizing chocolate chip rich and delicious everybody's favorite apple pie make me a bowl so y'all did really good on that all right miss vicky we will hear from your acrostic poem next week miss jean you have the sink cane. Everybody knows what a sink cane is all about. Yes, ma'am. All right. Next is Miss Jacqueline Lattimore. Miss Jacqueline, you know everybody. You know of your instructions on how to write a haiku. A haiku. It's yes. been a while. It's been a while, but I wrote a couple. Well, I'm just saying. Do you know the instructions that a haiku originated from Japan? It has three lines only. 
The whole poem has 17 syllables. So the first line is going to have five syllables. The second line has seven syllables. And the third line has five syllables. Five, so, seven, five. Okay. Five, seven, five. So this is just an, a quick example of a haiku. And an old silent pond, a frog jumps into the pond. Splash, silence again. So that's a haiku right there. So we'll be hearing from your haiku next week. Have fun with that. And so it's have to do with something in nature or can you sort of Anything. play with it a little bit? Um, usually, ha usually haikus uh, are written about things in nature, but you can write your haiku about whatever you would like to, Miss Jacqueline. It's your choice. Okay, that last line, what was that last line? Did it have four or five syllables? Because it's supposed it, to be five, right? It had five. It said splash, silence again. Oh, okay. Splash, yes. silence again. Okay. Yes, I didn't need a splash. Okay. All right, okay. Miss Sherry Hartnett had the tanker. So the tanker, Miss Sherry, you can look this up if you need to. The tanker is a trite 31 syllable poem originated from Japan. It has five lines. The five lines of the poem can read as one single line in traditional forms. The syllable count is spread as follows. So I'm going to put your syllable count with five lines. It's going to be five, seven, five, seven, and seven. Seven plus seven is 14, plus seven is 21, plus five is 26, plus five is 31. So they said it post, it's supposed to have 31 syllables, five lines. Your line should be having five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables, seven and seven. Miss uh, Sharon Hartnett. All right. Miss Betty Coleman, did you understand the nonet? Maybe she's gone. All right. The nonet was the like the pieces that I did today that had nine lines. And you're supposed to have nine syllables, eight syllables, seven syllables, six, descending all the way till you get to the first line, which will be one syllable. All right. Okay, talk about the uh, money. I'm, I'm, I'm about to, beautiful. So, Miss Sally Dawson, you had the nani. Yeah. The nani, I I'm, about, I'm about to uh, read you your instructions. All right. The Nani poem has its roots in India. It is a modern day type of poem. It has four lines only. Four lines. So write that down. Isn't that a relief? It only has four lines. The entire poem can have 20 to 25 syllables or sounds. Okay. There is no restriction concerning the theme of the poem. Okay. So you can write about what you want to write about. Okay, so the 20 to 25 syllables, there's no particular uh, pattern like five, seven, five, seven, seven. No, ma'am. I only got to have 20 to 25 syllables in those four lines. Yes. Uh, it, should have, it should have at least 25 or less than 25 syllables, but not less than 20. So okay. you can do between 20 and 25, but don't go below 20. Don't and it needs to have four lines. All right. So I'm going to read, I don't know why they have this poem here, but this is a Nani poem by Balimuntha Venkata, Ramana Rayo. I'm just going to read what they have. Nick, 
notation of pen on the white paper lattice a poem. That does not uh, cover what they just said as it pertains to the, let me see, notation of pen on the white paper lattice a poem. That was only 14. So yeah. it looks like they need to build themselves up to like uh, yeah. uh, some more than to get to 20. 20. But as long as you have 20 to 25 syllables within your four lines, that'll be good. Okay. All right. Well, what is the language of India? Is it primarily English or is it French? It's Hindu. I mean, what's the language of India? Well, I don't think it's, I don't think it's either of them. Yeah, they, um, you know, those, I think it's Hindi. In India, it's Hindi. Like Hindi, Hindi like Hindi from Buddha, uh, Hinduism. Yeah. Maybe right. when translated, it comes Hindi. to 20 to 25 syllables. So if you're saying that in, in Hindi, it might be 25 it's syllables. 25 syllables. It could possibly be. But translated to English, it only comes to 14. So it is 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 uh anybody gonna recite a piece next week in Hindi? <laughs> <laughs> I bet sure mine have twenty to twenty five syllables in English. <laughs> Don't y'all start? Don't y'all start? <laughs> what you thinking that way when you read that? Just ask this. Some of y'all act like y'all can speak Hindi or something. I'm just wondering. Oh, just wondering too. I'm like, maybe in their language. All right. So continuing on, I had the piece Triolet. And I just want to go ahead and say what the Triolet is in case when we rotate, uh, someone might have that particular piece to uh, do. Triolet. Okay. What is that? The Triolet. Something with three in it, I know. Yes, trio. Yes, ma'am. You're definitely correct. So triolet is number 14. A triolet is a short poetic form with eight lines and constant repetitive rhymes. The short poem originates from France. The poem repeats the first line in line four and seven. Then line two is the same as line eight. The end words of the first and second line are therefore repeated, making it easy to complete the rhyme scheme. The other lines have to rhyme with these words. So I'm gonna have to read that over and over to get it in my head. But however, they have a triolet uh, example and it's called How Great My Grief by Thomas Hardy. How Great My Grief my joys how few since first it was my fate to know thee have the slow years not brought to view how great my grief my joys have few how few nor memory shape old times anew nor loving kindness help to show thee how great my grief my joys how few since first it was my fate to know thee so it's like they're repeating a couple of words, so I'll have to make sure I do that. All right. Anybody want to join us in, uh, if anybody out there wants to write any of these, uh, these styles, forms, anybody who's new in the class, just want to try one of the styles for next week, feel free to share your pieces with us. Anybody else have anything else they want to share for today? Any type of poetry? Any piece? I have a piece that I wrote back in May of 20, uh, May 22nd, 20. I don't know if I read it in class or not. Plastic that I thought at the time, we were just starting out, I think, with some of these poems. And I wrote down uh, love, L-O-V-E. And L-O-V-E is, it's just called love. Like the wind, often love cannot be seen. Very often it can be felt breezing around. Even on a calm day, it blows through your heart. 
Did you say love can be felt breathing around? Breathing. <laughs> breathing around. Oh, breathing around. Breathing. <laughs> okay, now <laughs> can you please breathe? Can you please? cannot be seen. Very often it can be felt breathing around. Even on a calm day, it blows through your heart. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> and what kind of poem is that? That's um. That was a acrostic poem. Oh. That was back on May twenty second, twenty. I think we were just starting out. I don't that know. That sounds really, really good. My notes, because I had first I started with pieces of paper, and then I started a notebook. And uh, when I go back to my notes, I go back to as far as May. And um, Kim had us write a poem. I wrote a poem on August 26th called, Who Am I? I move so fluidly from what's seen above. I glide like fallen fruit or perhaps like jewels. I roll downward like balls away, always plurals, over to pair and split by smells and smiles below. From laughter and pain, we all know. What am I? Y'all want me to read that again? Oh, yes. What yes. Am I? I'm going to read it again. I move so fluidly from what's seen above. I glide like fallen fruit, or perhaps like jewels. I roll downward like balls, always plurals, over to paired and split by smells and smiles below. From laughter and pain, we all know. What am I? Uh, forgive I still me. don't know. <laughs> forgive me. I think it's. I think it's. Forgive me. I think it's scrotum. Oh. <laughs> I wrote the last line. line. Want me to read it one more time? No, it's going to be balls. Because you said something about it one more time. Vicky, Vicky, roll down. Vicky, I wrote. I wrote the last line. I wrote oh. the last line for me after you read it. I still don't know. <laughs> it's called, it's what am I? We did a what am I poem. I still don't know. So what is it, Miss Vicky? Teardrops. Teardrops. Oh, so I thought it was I'm so fluid from what's seen above. I glide like fallen fruit or perhaps like jewels. I roll downward like balls, always plurals. Over two pair, this is two eyes, the pair, and split by smells. The nose. Smiles below. Okay. From laughter to pain, we all know. We laugh, we cry with laughter, and we cry with pain. Is okay. that all? We all know. I took a while to think of that, and I remember yeah. when Kim was explaining to us a what am I poem. I don't know what the real name is for what a what am I, but I thought about tears and what type of poem is that? What what, what am I poem? It's called What Am I? Like you 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 are telling a story to get somebody to figure out what you are. I was a teardrop. Uh, is that does that teardrop. fall in, under one of those categories? No, ma'am. We did those poems like a while back called What Am I Poems, but they don't have anything to do with these categories. No, ma'am. Okay. All right. So I just wanted to share a piece by Danielle Cohen called I Never Knew. I Never Knew. Then we're going to get ready to conclude class for today. All right, I hope I can, all right. I never knew what real love was before you came into my life. I never knew what peace looked like before you helped me turn loose of that strife. I never knew what one smile could do before you changed my point of view. 
I never knew the soul is seen in the eyes before you helped me realize. I never knew what happiness was before you loved me just because. I never knew about loyalty or trust before you taught me it's a must. I never knew how good life could be before you came to live it with me. I never knew how to be content before you showed me what it meant. I never knew how deeply I could feel before you, now it seems so surreal. I never knew my heart could ache so because you had no choice but to go. Now I know I can never be the same since great spirit has called out your name. The one thing I know as I share our story, I bet your ears stand so pretty through your new crown of glory. Now read a quickie. That's beautiful. May I, <laughs> may, I read a, may I read a quickie, quick, uh, Kim? Yes, ma'am, go for it. Okay, uh, the face I see in the mirror is the face I see. It is the face that I hope to be. I look so old, but it is clear. Guess what? I'm still here. Oh, that's pretty. That was funny. <laughs> I want to hear those two again next time. <laughs> no problem. I'll be um, sure I have one thing to share real brief, but not a poem. It's okay. Go for it. I found a book in a Old, uh, used bookstore and it has poems from the 19, 1927 year 1927 it was written okay and they're really they wrote a little different then that's all I had to share it's an old book can you put it a little closer called modern poet oh modern poets okay so uh, I would like for you to research through that book and read some of the pieces. And when you find something that really, uh, that you're drawn to or that, you know, strikes your curiosity I, to share, go ahead and once you find a really good piece, share it with us out of that. Okay. Thank you so much. Where you say you got that from? From a books, used bookstore on Roswell Road. Okay. We have a lot of old books, and I. That's pretty. What my eye. That's really it's a nice. nice cover too. It is. Miss Mix, do you have a piece you want to share with us today? I don't, but I want to say I thank you for allowing me to join you all. This is very interesting and soothing. Thank um, you. I how often? I don't know your schedule, but how often do you have these classes? I'm also on class from 9 to 11, so um, I will definitely join in after my groups. And okay, thank you so much. Uh, this, class is, this class is called Word Up. It's uh, every Wednesday at 1030. Most of my classes are at 1030. Uh, I have yoga on Mondays at 1030. So I'll give you my schedule later. And Tuesdays, I have a Recycle Arts class called making something out of nothing and on thursdays and fridays uh i'm teaching pottery so even if you aren't actually participating they are some really great classes to uh join in and i will also make sure to send you our virtual schedule and thank you thank you so much for joining us and we uh really appreciate your presence uncle so everybody that's my aunt and my uncle well, Kim, I used to uh, write poetry on my cell phone. I would text them to somebody. And uh, when I lost my phone, all of those poems that I had been writing, I used to put my bed, this is before I got married, and so that I could see the sky. And at, at night, I would write poetry. See, I would try to write clums. I didn't know the name. I just wrote poems about the moon and the stars. And I lost my, phone, my poem and my greatest hurt was I hadn't written them down. I would just write them spontaneously. And on that, I, I wrote a poem to my mother and she called me back and laughed and laughed. I lost that phone. She, she had left a voicemail overnight, <laughs> one night, talking about that poem. 
And uh, I, just, I would only write the poems to two people because I thought they wouldn't think I was crazy. <laughs> My mother and another person. I want to share a book. I want to share a book. If, if you guys can see this, it's the sweetest book. It's called Brown Angels. I have that book. It's isn't, that a, isn't that great? Yes. And it has beautiful pictures. pictures. Beautiful. Yeah, it's great and it has little poems in it, but how our kids used to look. <laughs> I know. I know, and look at this. I love that way. <laughs> that, these kids like are probably born in the 20s. Yeah, that looked like us when we were walking around in Atlanta. Uh, it's a great, it's a great, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have it at all. It did not want to be that. He, it says he walks <laughs> like his grandpa. Listen, listen to this. He walks like his grandpa, grins like his Uncle Ben. I said he walked like his grandpa and grins like his Uncle Ben. Grins when he happy, when he and he grins again. <laughs> Oh, that tricycle. That's so cute. He got his chicken. Got his chicken. His pet chicken. And he ain't grinning at all. That's funny. There he is again. <laughs> you still ain't grinning. <laughs> what's, the, what's the name of that brown angel? Uh -huh, brown Angels by Walter Myers. Oh man, it's great. The pictures are beautiful. Thank y'all so much for sharing that with us. All right, uh, Kim, uh, Kim, the poem you just read um, <laughs> was that a poem about uh, someone who had left the world, or was that a poem of uh, bereavement? It said, the, the piece said it's dedicated to the person's dog, Stash. Oh, okay. Long so time. I don't, you know, sometimes uh, pets offer people comfort and uh, company, that type of thing. So it could have been. A beloved pet, okay. That's well, you know, the piece was called I Never Knew. And so they probably, it seems like they were coming from the point of view of that they never knew that they could get uh, these these uh, attributes or qualities from a pet. Yeah, and the and the end line, the the last line made made me think that it was somebody who died too. When he was talking about his crown and glory, a crown of glory. Yes. Yeah, so it says, "I never knew what real love was because before you came into my life." I never knew what peace looked like before you helped me turn loose of that strife. I never knew what one smile could do before you changed my point of view. I never knew the soul is seen in the eyes before you helped me realize. I never knew what happiness was before you loved me just because. I never knew about loyalty or trust before you taught me it's a must. I never knew how good life could be before you came to live it with me. I never knew how to be content before you showed me what it meant. I never knew how deeply I could feel before you. Now it seems so surreal. I never knew my heart could ache. So because you had no choice but to go. Now I know I can never be the same since great spirit has called out your name. The one thing I know as I share our story, I bet your ears stand so pretty through your new crown of glory. So seems yeah. like it might have been a, a dog or a pet or something like yeah. that. <laughs> oh, it it yeah, it just seemed like it was a pet that passed that went on that that Yeah, it was a pet that 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 Yes ma'am. All right. So thank you all so much for those pieces and go ahead and um relish in your your styles of poetic forms so that we can um, share those next week. Um, I was trying to look for a couple of pieces 
on African American haiku just to share a piece or two, but um, I could never pull up nothing since while we were here. So anyhow, uh, thank you all so much. We've had so much fun in this class today. Um, I need to sign out because it's time for my play schedule with a couple of people from Pottery. However, you know I am here to uh, listen and also share. This is the class Word Up. It's all about poetry, short stories, and spoken word. My name is Kimberly Wright. I will see you all next week. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Peace and love. All right. Thank you. Peace out. Bye, Uncle. Peace out. I love you. Peace out. Peace. Love you, Auntie. Love y'all.